Today's topic is Triple Whale's creative dashboard. Why? Because it's a huge lever in performance when it comes to your paid media buying. Sometimes it's hard for us and it's hard for your media buyers and the ad accounts to realize if this graphic or video is doing a good job. Well, that gets taken care of with their creative dashboard. So let's jump right in. Over here, you can see at the top left that we have the timeline. So over here, we could set it for the last 90 days. That's what I'm gonna use for this video example. And you could group it by month, week, or day. So let's look at the tabs that it provides you with. It provides you with the whole ad, images and video total, the copy alone on how the copy is performing, the images and copy together in the ad account, and the video and copy together. So if you have an image or video in your ad account that you're running as an ad, whatever image or video, you're going to have to go to that tab because it incorporate the copy with it. So let's just click images and video total just so we could see the metrics that we could track. Down here, you could order it based on Facebook ROAS, Pixel ROAS, Facebook conversion, Pixel conversion, all the way down to your thumb stop ratio, that three second view impressions. So over here, you could see this video is in one ad. You could see the ROAS on that ad, the cost per click, the cost per impression, the spend, impressions, total purchases, and your thumb stop ratio over here. So technically, 31.1% of our viewers are watching at least the first three seconds of this video. So this is the cool part about this dashboard because it kind of puts together you know, your metrics, your copy, your graphic, whatever creatives that you're running, plus your copy. And it kind of lets you know how many places it's at in your ad account. But the most important part thing is reading this data properly. If you have a graphic, or if you have any sort of creative that spent $100 on this creative dashboard, what does that mean to you? What I'm going to show you over here is how you're going to segment your creative dashboard. Because if you press this plus button right here, create creative segment, you could target or you could only see your top of funnel campaigns, your middle of the funnel, your bottom of the funnel, your post purchase campaigns. All you're going to have to do is click the title over here, this plus button, top of funnel, description, top of funnel ads. And over here, instead of keeping ROAS as the expression that you're facing, you're gonna look at the name. However you guys' naming convention is, all you really need to do is say, hey, our campaign name at 4Media, if it's top of funnel, we are going to include top of funnel. TOF. The moment I click save, it will filter all of our top of funnel ads. And now you could slowly identify all of the top of funnel ad creatives that are performing. Now, instead of just filtering it based on your names, you want to see if this is a performing ad or not. Luckily, some of our ads over here has spent 1200, 2K, 2300, 88, um, $880, et cetera, et cetera. But if you are new when it comes to Triple Well, if you're using one of the smallest packages on Triple Well and you have a low budget spend, $100 on a creative isn't really going to do much. So what I'm going to show you over here is when you press this plus button, you're also going to create a new segment. Again, just like that TOF, BOF, MOF um, segment when it comes to your funnel. You want to look at the spend. That's really what you want to look at. Is the spend greater than, greater than or equal to? Is it just equal to $1,000? But we are just solely going to be looking at amount of spend per ad. And I'm going to set it as $1,000. I want to only see the ads that have spent more than $1,000 in my ad account. Again, you do have all the other filters, TOF, MOF, BOF, but right now we're just going to be looking at the $1,000 ads that have spent in the whole ad account in the last 90 days. I'm going to go ahead and disable this and feature. I really don't need to know that. And I click save. The moment you save the amount of spend that you want to see on an ad, make sure to go ahead and click this filters view and go ahead and click this checkbox over here. Once when you click that checkbox, you could see that it's already filtered all of the ads that have not spent at least a thousand dollars. And now you can go in there and see, okay, well, this ad is performing pretty well over here, but it's only in one campaign. There's only one ad with this creative on it. So I should start taking advantage of that ad. If you're not currently using a third party tracking software for your ad accounts, go ahead and click the link below to get started on Triple O. It is one of the cheapest tracking softwares that provides you with the same insights as the rest.